Number 8, 1990 Lincoln Center. Graded in Mean State 69, read by PCGS. According to grading service, the 1990p Lincoln cents come very well struck. Examples up to about MS67 are abundant. Only in MS68 or higher are they scarce. MS69 specimens are rare, and just two specimens have been certified that fine in this lofty grade. Including this superb gem, this lustrous numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $5,625 with buyer's fee. Number 7. Amazing Error Coin 1993 Jefferson Nichols struck over 1992 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mean State 67 read by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, in addition to its status as a double denomination error coin, this piece actually spans two different years. The 1993 Jefferson nickel was struck over a previously minted 1992 Lincoln cent. The 1992 date from the Lincoln cent is clearly visible on the reverse. This amazing superb gem is fully brilliant with rich orange mint luster. This true rarity ended up selling for $6,900. Number 6 here is 1975 Lincoln Cent, graded in Mean State 68, read by PCGS. Only the most competitive registry sets will include a 1975 Lincoln Cent in the impossibly high grade. PCGS reports just four specimens with non finer. This elusive gem was bargained for $9,000. Number 5, 1976 S Bicentennial Canada of Dollar, graded in Mean State 69 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all showed a dual. 1776-1976 date on the obverse. The half dollar reverse with independence holes as a centerpiece was designed by Seth Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Number 4. 1967 SMS Roosevelt Dime Graded in Mint State 68 Deep Cameo by PCGS SMS stands for Special Mint Set A stunning white on black appearance greets the viewer on this superb gem, Deep Cameo Crisp detail is seen in Roosevelt's hair, as the vertical lines and bands of the torch. It was sold for $9,987.50. Number 3, 1968 S quarter dollar, struck on a 90% silver planchet, graded as PR64 by PCGS. The coin is reflective in the fields, complementing sharp motifs, each side is virtually brilliant. A few minor marks are seen beneath the loop, the white edge of this piece, confirming the silver planchet alloy, is readily visible in edge view holder. It was sold for $11,700. Number 2, 1992 D. Lincoln Cent with Close AM, graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. Lincoln Cent specialists are aware that proof dies during much of 1990s and 2000s differed in design from business strikes. The distance between the feet of AM in America is a pickup point, as is the distance between the FG initials and the memorial. One die pair intended for production in 1993 was inadvertently used for Denver strikes in 1992, and due to the high attrition rate of modern scents, only a few examples have been located. This lustrous orange gold near gem was sold for $20,700. Number 1, 1977 D. Eisenhower dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet, graded in mean state 63 by NGC. A clad Eisenhower dollar should weigh 22.7 grams. 
Walter Breen states in his 1988 encyclopedia that about 15 pieces are known struck on planchets intended for 40% silver San Francisco Bicentennial Ike dollars. This is a lustrous a nicely struck mint error with peripheral straw gold toning and a few minor obverse field grazes. The strike details are remarkably strong throughout, undoubtedly from being struck in silver, which is much softer than the usual nickel. This elusive specimen was sold for $26,400. And there you have it folks, 8 numismatic marvels that paint a vibrant picture of American coinage history. From the depths of the mint to the hands of collectors, these coins carry stories that transcend time. If you found today's journey through numismatic wonders as captivating as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us for more thrilling discoveries. God's willing, see you in the next video.